Hi everyone, Olivia here for my Cast Off Thursday video on a Friday. I just couldn't do it yesterday. So I'm sorry. Okay, jumping into it. Um, I had some interesting things happen last week. So, if you have been watching my videos for about the last year, you may recall this sock. Do you remember this? Okay. So it's the Hermione Everyday Sock, and the sock has been a complete disaster for me since day one of its inception. I got this yarn at a crazy sale for a buck, literally for sock yarn, really nice quality, for a dollar, which is insane. Um, so I cast on these socks, and I only read the first two pattern rows of this four pattern repeat for the texture of the body, and so... It looks like this, the texture, but it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to look like that at all. Um, but this sock has been sitting on my needle for about since last summer. And I haven't finished it. And all I needed to do was Kitchener the toe, basically, which A, I had never done before, so I really wasn't wanting to do that. And then B, I knew it was going to be too big. Honestly, I knew that this was going to be bigger than I want it to be, so I just have been avoiding doing it. And so I finally finished it, and so here it is. Um, this happened last weekend when I was sitting in the morning, and I'd just been doing a bunch of cleaning, and I was just in a mood of, I need to get stuff done. And I wanted to do some knitting, but I didn't have any projects started at my house. All of them were at my boyfriend's house. And so... I just said, okay, today's the day I'm finishing this sock, and I did, and kitchenering wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be really annoying, but it really wasn't too bad. I didn't do a wonderful job, but it's good enough. So you can see there is where it um, is kitchenered. It's not, I mean, I'm sure people that are sock people are way better than I am, but it, it didn't go so bad. So I cast the other sock on, and this is how far I am, but here's the catch. I'm actually doing this one the right way, and I think that my gauge has changed a lot since I knit this guy, because this sock already seems like it's going to be a lot smaller, so this one's probably actually going to fit me correctly, and this one's going to be too big. So what I may have to do, even though, God help me, this is not anything I want to be doing, I may have to rip this sock out and re-knit it when I'm done because I haven't I haven't touched this in a year so my gauge is a lot tighter and the socks are going to be appropriate size so that's kind of a bummer that that happened but whatever I'm not going to worry about it an update on the blanket if you're seeing a weird shadow it's probably because of this hair oh this side this hair is being weird so an update on the blanket I am Officially, probably 65% of the way through the blanket. I'm I've got seven blocks done, tall, um, and then I was initially going to go to 12. We'll see if that happens. Mostly, what I'm thinking at this point is I'm going to do whatever I can before the wedding, and then I'll finish it right before the wedding. And however long it is, is how long it's going to be. It's already a pretty decent length. It comes up to um above my belly button when it's touching the ground and covering my feet so that's that's getting there um, I would like it to at least come up to here if I can so that's probably another foot and a half at least that I'm gonna have to get done on that but I haven't really been working on it too much because I needed to get new needles which hold on one second I got in the mail today so I can start on that again um, I got a chai gu bamboo needle which Sorry if that was loud for people that have headphones that I haven't used before. And it looks really nice. Um, the join looks really steady or sturdy, which is good because my problem with my last one <laughs> was that this needle, the part where it connects to the cord, just totally broke. And I had to tape it, and then I was gonna, ha I was having to pull every stitch over the tape because it was getting caught. It was just really annoying the crap out of me so I just bought a new needle I think I got it for um, six bucks or something like that on eBay which is pretty good 649 and free shipping 
So I was happy about that, and I got it within two or three days of when I ordered it. So yahoo for that. And let's see. The only other thing I have to show you is, are these guys. Um, and maybe two other stuff for you before I show them to you. They're slippers. So here's one. They're for a woman's foot. It fits my feet, and I wear a nine and a half. They stretch a lot when you're wearing them, so they're snug and comfortable. And these will either be a Christmas present for someone or become mine if my feet get really cold and I can't find anything nearby, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, it's finally starting to warm up around here, but it's supposed to get cold again. Hmm. 40s for the next few days, which is whatever, I guess I'll be fine. So that's that. And then the only other thing that I have no progress on the blanket that I need to fix. So I'm still looking for an appropriate yarn to use for that because that's going to be kind of tricky. I want to make sure that it matches. I just, I don't know. I think I'll probably buy something online and just hope to God that it matches, but I just don't know. The only other thing that I'm going to be working on in the next few weeks that, okay, this is maybe going to be kind of loud, so I'm sorry if it is. I was at my cousin's bridal shower a week, or not a week ago, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, and she, I, I gave her her garter so that she'd have it for the wedding, which is exciting, and she loved it, and everyone loved it, um, which I was very happy about. But all of the older ladies were talking about making a bow bouquet with all of the bows on the presents that she got for um, for her bridal shower. And so everyone said, oh, Olivia, you should make it. You're so good with stuff like that. So, of course, I said yes, because I can't say no, especially to my favorite cousin. And so I'm going to be making a bow bouquet. I've never done it, so if maybe if some of you have seen one or done one before, I'm going to look online and kind of see if I can get some inspiration picks. Um, so I've got this guy. This one might be, I might turn into the boutonniere for her fiancé for the groom's dinner to wear because they wanted one of the bows to be for him. And his mom actually asked me to make sure it was a big pink one, and this would work perfectly. I also have... This pretty one, which is a nice light green. It's a little bit more green than it's showing up on the camera. And there's this one. These. And then there's a bunch of string and ribbons and stuff. So all of that is going to somehow be incorporated into this bow bouquet that I'm going to be making. I have no idea what it's going to look like. But I'll keep you guys posted if you're interested. And if not, well, I guess you can just tell me that you don't want to see it on the bottom or something. I don't know. So anyway, I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend and excuse me, check out the other cast off crew members in the links below. There's a list of everyone involved and the ch links to their YouTube channels. So definitely go check out some other people and subscribe and comment if you haven't already. I love hearing from you guys and I respond to all of my comments. So have a wonderful day. Bye.